Oh, I'm starting a new project. <laughs> I just watched uh, Mike Simon's video that he did on a covered bridge. It got me thinking about the covered bridges of New Brunswick. We are quite well known for our covered bridges, including the longest one in the world at Heartland, New Brunswick. I've seen a few of them, I haven't seen all of them, and now I've decided for this summer and maybe into the fall, I'm going to try to see if I can't visit all of the ones that are still existing. I'm at uh, the Dennis Stream Bridge, this is going to be my first one. I'll turn around here and show you a better look at it in just a second. As I said, we have the longest covered bridge, and I suspect this is probably one of the shorter ones. It's called the Dennis Stream Bridge Number 3. It's on the Maxwell Crossing Road, and it was built in 1910, I would say, by the looks of it, has been restored. And it's one of the ones that you can drive through, so I will mount the camera on the dash and drive through it at some point. According to that guy, you can fly through it too, I guess. Uh, I found an excellent resource online. I'll put a link to it below this video. Uh, it's called the DaleJTravis.com uh, website. And the man has, or I guess it's a man, my name is Dale, but it can be either gender, uh, has completed a, a complete list of all of the ones, ones that currently exist and the ones that are no longer there. And he's gone to every location and put the uh, uh, GPS coordinates there. So they're very easy to find. I just entered the GPS coordinates into my uh, Garmin GPS in the car and it brought me here. It didn't actually stop here. It took me beyond quite a ways. Just out of curiosity, I watched, I, I followed it to see where it would take me after I'd driven through the bridge. And it took me probably, I don't know, a quarter of a kilometer f further down the road. But nevertheless, I found the bridge without any problem. So this is bridge number one. And I don't know if I gave you the length or not. I would do it now if I didn't. Uh, 64 feet long, 20 meters. And as I said, it was uh, built in, in 1910. Well, let's take a drive through it before we go find bridge number two. That was fun. Now we're off to bridge number two, I guess. Well, I think I'm really going to enjoy doing this. I've only been to my second bridge now, and I've already been on several roads and seen parts of the county that I've never seen before. Uh, the first, this first series, first video of the series of bridges is going to be Charlotte County, and that's where I live, is in Charlotte County. Even though I've lived here all of my life, I have never seen either one of these first two bridges before, anyway. This is the McCann, or Diggity Gouache, bridge. Uh, and let me see what I've got here for specifics on it. It's 89 feet, 27 meters long, and it was built in 1938. And whoopee, it's one of the ones that we can drive across. So. I'll take you on a drive across the McCann or Diggity Gouache Bridge. Wash again because it's also on the Diggity Gouache River. I came across it a few minutes ago and there were some young boys, teenagers, playing inside of it so I don't know if they'll still be there this time or not. I tried to find a place where I could get a better view. I didn't find it on this side of the river so hopefully on the other side of the river I'll find a place where I can get a a view of the bridge. It's 
are all one lane. I guess I haven't said that. Well, the young fellows that were inside of it aren't there now anyway. Well, the sign calls it the McGuire Bridge, built in 1913. I found the young fellows. They're down here swimming, if you can hear them in the background. It's 118 feet long, 37 meters, and as I said, built in 1913. I'll walk down to the river's edge here and see if I can get a sideways look at it. <laughs> some of the language there isn't quite good. This looks like it could really use some repair, I guess. Still on the Diggity Gouache River, and this is Dumbarton. And they are numbered. I think I'm finally figuring this out. Diggity Gouache River number six. So I guess this would have been the sixth covered bridge on the Diggity Gouache River. Not sure, but that's what I'm thinking. Built in 1928, 78 feet, 23 meters in length. And another beautiful location. Lots of bugs, but a beautiful location. I think the Diggity Gouache River would be a lovely river to canoe. I don't know how much rough water there is. I see a little place down around the bend there where it's a bit rough, but passing under all of these uh, covered bridges would be lovely. Well, I think that finishes my little trip for today. I'll try to finish the rest of Charlotte County before I put this video up, probably this weekend. So, crossing over the Dunbarton Bridge on the way home, I guess. So this is day two of my adventure to see all of the uh, covered bridges. A uh, bit of an overcast day. I may need my umbrella before today is over with, but I hope to get to the last three in Charlotte County that I haven't seen yet. Um, I'm going to start by taking the car ferry today. Thankfully the seasonal car ferry is on and I'm going to uh, head over to St. Stephen first to visit with a friend, but then I'm going up to see some more of the uh, of the covered bridges, so that should finish this video shortly. Thank you. Thank you. I just had my pass checked. I buy a pass on the car ferry because you save a little bit of, a little bit of money. It's good for four trips. Uh, $70 this year. I think that's a few dollars more than last year, but nothing ever gets cheaper, does it? Beautiful, calm day anyway, even though there's not much sun, I guess, or not any sun. Great day for crossing on the water. There's not a wave or a ripple. Two ferry rides later, I am over on the New Brunswick mainland. At least soon I'll be on the mainland since I get off this ferry. Nice crossings, everything was smooth, overcast, but smooth and calm. Well, the rain couldn't hold off any longer, I guess. It's been raining now for, I don't know, an hour or more. And this is Flume Ridge, or Macadavy River number four, or check my list here. No, Macadavy River number seven. It's 62 feet long. 
which is 19 meters and it was built in 1905. It's one of the ones I guess it could use a little repair. It even appears to be leaning a little bit. But they have put a metal roof on it so it, it isn't leaking down on the inside to do any more damage to the rafters and beams or whatever. Even though it's a rainstorm, it's in a beautiful location. Right next to some rapids. on the McAdavy River. Well, we'll take a drive through it before I hit off to the next one. Only two left in Charlotte County to find, so hopefully we'll get to both of those in the rain today. In one kilometer, Turn right on Flume Ridge Road. <laughs> that was Miss Garman who just spoke. Well, folks, the technology is not perfect. <laughs> this covered bridge is called Canal Bridge, uh, built in 1917. It's 124 feet long or 38 meters. I had the correct coordinates input into the Garmin GPS in the car and it drove me around and round in circles. Evidently some of the roads have changed. There's a lot of new highways in the area, but Miss Garman couldn't figure it out at all. Me being very clever, third or fourth time around the circle, I said this isn't working. <laughs> anyway, I went to the town of St. George because I knew this was close to the town of St. George. And once we got in the town, Miss Garman realized what she was doing and brought me here. I found the correct roads. Of the, this is the sixth bridge, I guess, that I've visited, and of all of them, this is the only one that I'm sure I would have seen before. I can't say as I really remember it, but this is, as I say, is called the canal. I don't believe it's man-made. I think it's a natural body of water. It connects the McAdavy River with Lake Utopia, and years ago, heavens, probably close to 20 years ago, I canoed this. So I have gone under this one in a canoe, not that I really remember it, but I've been to this one before. Well, we'll take a drive over it and we'll see if Miss Garman can find the, I think it's called Mill Pond, the next one. In one and a half kilometers, turn left on Highway 770. If she's right, that's what we'll do. Well, Miss Garman has redeemed herself. She brought me right to this one. Uh, it was quite a drive, about an hour, but the coordinates were correct and I came right here without any problem. This one is not in use, as you can see. There's no road connecting. I don't know how long it's been since they uh, replaced the bridge with that. Basically, it's a large concrete culvert there that the highway goes over now. But It looks like we can walk inside. So This is the one that's called Mill Pond built in 1910. It's 109 feet long or 33 meters. Oh, it's continued to rain all day. But the roof doesn't leak. I can put my umbrella down. <laughs> well, it still seems to be in pretty good shape. It's just that it doesn't have a highway going to it anymore, I guess. Well, this is bridge number seven for Charlotte County, so that concludes this video. I'll get home and put this together and get it up on YouTube, I guess. Thank you very much for staying with me and watching this. I'm really enjoying it myself. I hope it's enjoyable to the people that, that are watching my videos. It's, it's fun going down all of these little country roads trying to find 
the next bridge and seeing all the beautiful countryside along the way. Well, thank you very much for watching.